Today we're gonna explore some new Blender add-ons that have just hit the scene. We've got a list covering everything from water simulation, tree libraries, cloth simulation, interior decoration assets, retopology, procedural generation, and more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's start with Internic, which is the latest asset pack from Polygonic, the team behind some of the really useful add-ons that I talked about before on this channel, like RenderSat, Angon, Botanic, Aquatic, and others. Internic itself is an asset library full of high-quality interior models, and these models range from furniture to decor, bathroom, lighting assets, and more. The Internic models are optimized, so they are fast and easy to use. What's more, they can be editable, so you can benefit and use them in any way you want in your project, whether it be for a scene or just architectural visualization. The pack also comes with ready-made assets from full bedrooms, kitchens, and bathrooms for faster and more efficient work. Internic has just launched, and it is available on the Blend Market. You can start with $2 for the starter pack, which includes roughly 5% of the assets, give or take, and the light version featuring around 45% of the assets, priced at $59, and the full version with everything Internic has to offer comes at $99. So if you act now, you can get a 44% launch discount using the coupon code INTERNIC44. Physical Water Effects Deluxe is another new powerful add-on, which as you might have guessed, is good for customizing realistic water surfaces, and you can do that easily as well. The add-on provides extensive tools and customization options for achieving any water effect that you need, and the generated water includes imperfections similar to real-life bodies of water, with ripples that can interact with objects, realistic foam and bubbles, and caustic effects that can capture the natural light refractions. And the add-on also comes with customizable rain effects, which helps you control splash radius, spread, and intensity, in addition to the height of the water levels. You can also add shorelines and decals to complete scenes for river sides or beaches. It also allows you to scatter up to 20 different vegetation presets that can interact with water in addition to itself, alongside the pre-configured water shader presets to create any body of water, from serene lakes to murky swamps, which gives you many options. The deluxe edition of the add-on comes packed with an extensive collection of 250 models from the asset browser. This exclusive set includes a diverse range of aquatic vegetation, corals, and various underwater elements to help you create breathtaking underwater scenes. And the good thing, you can use the coupon WATER10OFF to get a 10% discount in the Deluxe Edition. Next up, we're gonna talk about a small but really useful add-on for anyone who's looking to add some greenery into their scene. And this is the Trees Library add-on. Actually, this is an asset library containing over 140 plus realistic tree models and an add-on to manage them with a big range of trees that offer a variation of colors, sizes, and tree types that can suit any type of scene that you're looking for. And the library also comes with seven types of wood materials that can be applied to any tree, giving you more variation to the giant library that you already have. You can also adjust the color of the leaves, in addition to its value, hue, and saturation, for even more customization. And the add-on also supports adjustable snapping to the ground, in addition to animation settings for speed and amplitude, also random transformations, making it flexible for natural and dynamic setups. And by the way, you can use the promo code TL25 to get a 25% discount for a limited period of time. The next one is not actually an add-on, but a modifier. The Folds modifier is gonna be a great tool for animators looking to create realistic clothing folds without relying on the cloth modifier or any complex simulation whatsoever. The modifier can create folds in clothes in real time, and you can do that with ease. It uses a geometry node setup based on tension maps and textures, which you can draw or bake from the high-res model. And being based on texture maps, you have the possibility to draw in your folds in any way you like. And you can also customize the stretch and the stretch factor of the folds. In addition, smooth them, bake them, and export them to any game engine, which is gonna be fantastic if you are a game developer. 
Turning now to QuadMaker, which is a retopology add-on that offers a set of tools to speed up your retopology workflow. So, after installing the add-on, you will find a new submenu for the add-on inside the left-click menu, as well as the M panel, but more on that later. QuadMaker offers up to 7 operations or tools that you can work with, those being add vertices, fill quads, extend borders, quick cut, draw quad stripe, smooth vertices, and the delete mode. And each tool performs as its name suggests, and it is easy and fast to use. You can use the tools to add points, fill holes, extend border edges and vertices, smooth out the mesh, and quickly delete and dissolve with a few clicks. QuadMaker works like any real topology add-on and offers the necessary tools for the job. And the only downside from what I can see is how slow it is to change between tools with a left-click menu. And this problem can be solved if you use the interactive tools located in the T menu or tools menu on the left side of the viewport. And this will allow you to use shortcuts that can be changed in the preferences to work or use the pie menu that comes with the add-on. Moving on to something a little bit different, we have Analyze Mesh, which is by the way a free add-on for anyone out there who wants to know precisely what is in your mesh, from quad, triangles, angons, and poles. It was originally part of the Quad Maker add-on that you just saw, and it offers an intuitive way to break down your mesh's structure and composition. The add-on is quite small, with only one button for analyzing the mesh, which displays in the add-on window in the end menu the total count of vertices, edges, faces, triangles, quads, and guns, and poles from 3 poles up to 9 poles. And if you are wondering what makes this add-on different from the Blender's native statistics, using Analyze Mesh in the edit mode will give you new options to select triangles, quads, and guns, and so on. This feature makes locating and editing problematic areas in the mesh much easier, a functionality that could be a game changer if integrated into Blender itself. Well, the add-on is free and will provide a valuable addition to any Blender user without any additional costs. Next, we have an add-on called Phoenix, which is a really interesting one for particle system. If you like to mess around with simulations and effects, you might want to check this out. The add-on uses a minimalist nodes interface that can be easy to work with, and one of its key features is that the order of effects nodes connections doesn't matter, as force integration is handled by a simple addition, which makes the setup faster. So after installing the add-on, you will find it directly in the viewport, where you will have access to a variety of built-in effects and commands that enhances simulation, including morphine, tracers, linking, time modes, SPH fluid, combustion, attractors, constraints, and more. And each feature has unique effects and applications, making it, I think, a versatile tool. Next, there is a new add-on called Z-Form, which simplifies the way you can make 3D meshes from depth maps. The add-on is designed to save time and effort for anyone who wants to make displacement image effects inside Blender. It can transform any depth map into a 3D model, giving depth and dimension to corresponding images. To use the add-on, you first need an image and the displacement map corresponding to that image. Unfortunately, you can't use the add-on to generate depth maps from the picture directly. The add-on auto makes the work usually done with modifiers like displacement, subdivision surface, and smoothing, which can take some time and it can become tedious to manage manually. So Z-Form also includes several adjustment parameters to fine-tune the results, such as subdivision levels, smoothness, and depth intensity, as well as material attributes like roughness, metallic, and index of reflection for some added realism. You can also view the resulting mesh from the front, the side, and top perspectives for easier inspection. And although Z-Form requires you to have a depth map, from what I can see, it produces clean and high-quality results. Another interesting new add-on is called Real City, which is a procedural city generator. And of course, it is based on geometry nodes for generating cities and buildings, as you can guess from the name. The modifier allows you to generate city buildings and modify them fast, and you can do this in real time. 
It works by assigning materials to a base mesh and link them to specific building parts like body, roof, street, ground, back alley and fire escape. Once you set up the modifier, you will generate the details of the building where you can assign the materials. You can also edit, tweak and change them in the modifiers panel as you like. The add-on offers unique city styles like Asian style, American style and more. In addition to 14 building designs and plenty of options for tweaking sidewalks, shops, roofs and other parameters. And by the way, there is a 25% launch discount if you want to get it right now. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.